So I was cruising along the river here and I got the sweet scent of pawpaws. <laughs> this pawpaw season, I guess, officially. I'm out in my boat today and as I was cruising along, I could smell the pawpaws. And if you look up there, those are pawpaw trees. And I can actually see pawpaws on them. Wanna go up and look at them? Let's do that. I could use one. I haven't had any pawpaws yet this year, and I am the star for a pawpaw. Look, I can see them. There's some right there. These are ones that have fallen out of the tree. And um, they are actually normally the ripest of the pawpaws. And you want them ripe, because if you get them when they're not ripe, they're a little bit bitter tasting. So the, the softer and sometimes kind of like brownish looking like that is, the better. It's nice grove of them. All right, you ready? You want to bite into this? Here's how you do it. Well, actually, it's going to be kind of difficult with one hand. But what you do is you break them open. I'm just going to break this open. Like that, okay? So you have two halves. Normally, you just grab one half uh, with each hand. And then just kind of squeeze it a little bit. You squeeze the pulp out. Because you don't want to eat the skin. That green skin is very, very bitter, and uh, this doesn't taste good at all. So just squeeze out the pulp on the inside. But be careful because there's big seeds in there, and you don't want to choke on them. <laughs> what you do is you get the pulp in your mouth and kind of swish it around and chew a little bit, you know, and um, spit the seeds out as you go along. You may want to smell it first. <laughs> Make sure it smells good, and that smells good. Okay, let's take a bite. Mmm, so what I do it did is I grabbed a bite, kind of custardy. I just kind of swish it around a little bit and suck on a little bit and make sure I don't eat the seeds. I don't think the seeds will hurt you, but you don't want to choke on them. And uh, this is what they look like. Those are pawpaw seeds. There's probably 20 of them in each pawpaw. Now, if you don't want to pick them off the ground, here's how you get them. You find yourself a good sized pawpaw tree that you think might have pawpaws on it, and you give it a shake, just like this. You ready? Some, you might want to cover your head when you do this too, but I won't this time. No pawpaws in that one. Let's try this bigger one right here. Let's give this one a shake. I can see them. You can see big bunches of them up in the tree. Oh, wow. That tree's loaded with them. I don't think I've ever seen quite that many. But if you look up in that tree right there, you can see big bunches of them. There's one right there. and There's bunches up there. This is a really good season for pawpaws. You can hear them thumping on the ground right there too. I'm surprised they didn't fall out when I uh, shook the tree. So anyway, if you take both hands and you grab one of these pawpaw trees and give it a good shake, if it has ripe ones on it, the pawpaws will fall down. And those are usually pretty good to eat. Um, They'll be nice and ripe, and of course, they won't have been laying on the ground. Hey, what's that foundation, I wonder? Oh, look at these pawpaws. Now, this is unusual to have a group of pawpaws up this, well, this low to the ground. Normally, they're up high, but look at those things. Aren't they beautiful? They're huge. That's a beautiful cluster right there. I'll give them a little squeeze. Oh, he's nice and soft. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. Normally they're way up in the tree so you don't get a, get a good close look at them um, until they hit the ground. I'll make a couple of pictures of that. Yeah, luckily the boat is still there. It's right down there in the water. But yeah, this is a good sized pawpaw right here. They don't really get too much bigger than that. And if you look, there's pawpaws all over the ground. There's some little ones here. There's another one there, another one there, another one there. The whole group of them so oh, look at them all right here see these will probably be better to eat 
because they're um, on the ground and they're probably a little bit softer. Well, hope you enjoyed having some pawpaws again this fall. I always just wait till I can smell them because you can smell them a long ways away. All right, let's get back in the boat. Never leave the boat.